Hey there guys, Buddy here. So let's talk about stream ordering. So stream ordering is a method used to classify and rank not only streams but rivers as well within a drainage basin based on the relative position and size in the stream hierarchy. So basically it's going to help your geographers understand the structure and the complexity of a drainage system. So how would you actually stream order? Now we're going to be using the Strahler method which is the most common method that is taught in schools and it's also the simplest. So now we're going to start with the smallest streams. Now these are the ones with no tributaries. So these are going to be your first order streams. So all streams are going to start off as your first order streams and you need to remember that the first order streams are not going to be fed by any other streams, right? As you can see in the diagram, the first order streams are not going to be fed by any other stream but they are going to feed into other streams. Now can you see how there's no other tributaries flowing into our first order streams? That is how you identify a first order stream. Now when two streams of the same order are going to meet, the stream that will form is going to be one order higher. So what do I mean? If we take a first order plus another first order stream, the stream that's going to form is going to be a second order stream as you can see in the diagram. So remember, first order plus first order is going to result in a second order stream. Now, if you take a second order stream plus another second order stream, that's going to form a third order stream. And as streams of the same order are going to meet, the order is going to increase. For example, if a third order stream meets another third order stream, the stream that's going to form from that will be a fourth order stream, as I will demonstrate in the next diagram. But now what will happen if two streams of different orders meet? We need to understand that the stream that's going to form will always retain the higher order. Now what do I mean by that? The stream that will form will always retain the higher order. So if a second order is going to meet a first order, the stream that's going to form will be a second order stream. Now if we take a third order stream that's going to meet a second order stream, the stream that's going to form from that will be a third order stream. So there's two general rules that we always need to remember. The stream order will only increase if two streams of the same order will join. And if two streams of different orders meet, the resultant stream will always retain the higher order. Now in a drainage basin, right, there's going to be more lower order streams than your high order streams. So what I'm trying to say is there's going to be more streams that are going to be your first and second order streams as compared to your third and fourth order streams. Now stream ordering can get quite complicated as you can see in this diagram, so let's quickly tackle it. So we can see that all the smallest streams will be the first order streams and they will be labeled as number one. We can now see that whenever a first order stream is going to meet another first order stream, it will become a second order stream. Now let's take a look at the lower left hand side of the screen at the letters A and B. So which order do you think that those streams will be? Because remember when they meet, they're going to form a second order stream. So A and B will be your first order streams. Because can you see how they aren't going to be fed by any other streams, right? And once they meet, they will form a second order stream. Now when we see two second order streams meeting, it will become a third order stream. And when we see two of these third order streams meet, they will become a fourth order stream. Now can you see how majority of the streams are going to be your lower order streams, right? There's going to be a lot of first order and second order streams. So that's it for today guys, just a quick and simple explanation. Now if you're looking for more geomorphology videos, then I'll leave a link to that in the pinned comment. I want to thank you so much for watching, stay cool, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.